Hi, this is Bill Heaster with Evolve Electronics. Um, <clears throat> what you're seeing right now is the fiber optic chandelier. Um, kinda. It's the the inside of it. Um, what we have here, take this off the tripod. What we have here is um, there's three main components. The the chassis, well, we'll start with the power supply. It uses a regular ATX power supply for, uh, you know, a regular computer. I probably could have got away with using a uh, brick type power supply that they use in laptops. It would have made the unit a lot smaller. And thus I could have created the enclosure a lot smaller. Um, the chassis uh, that holds the LEDs is located here. The LEDs are attached to the bottom side. Uh, it has thermal paste and some rivets. Same thing with the fan. It's attached uh, with thermal paste and rivet to the uh, chassis itself. Uh, and here's the controller board. Uh, you can see a couple things here. Um, there's a fan right here that keeps the MOSFETs and the current limiting resistors cool even though they're well beyond their spec uh, for wattage. Uh, these are the current limiting resistors. They obviously limit the current that goes into the LEDs. The MOSFETs here are used for high power switching. Um, you'll see in a few seconds or a minute or so here that <coughs> when I turn the dial on the controller, uh, the chip here uh, gets data from the wireless module which is an XB series 1 and the chip, the microprocessor is uh, ATmega328. It gets a signal um, in the form of an analog value and it outputs a POM or a PWM which is pulse wave modulation and basically it hits from digital high to digital low really fast and uh, makes it appear that we're dimming the LED uh, even though we're just blinking it on faster or slower. Uh, this here is the controller. It's got a similar setup. It has the uh, ATmega328 which takes in the signals from or the, I'm sorry, the analog value from the slider potentiometers. Um, this one does red, this one does green, and this one does blue. And then it sends it out via the XP module to the <coughs> uh, base of the chandelier. Uh, now the sliders are similar to something you would find in like a Photoshop program. Uh, like the red, green, and blue val values if I move red all the way up and then blue up partially I'll get a pink and if I move blue up all the way I'll get uh, more of a purple color. Um, so I will set this back on the tripod and I will turn on the power supply for this and I just connected the battery into the controller. Uh, you can see that the controller is <coughs> now sending out data. So if I were to slide up the red value, you can see that the red increases in intensity. And if I also slide up the blue value, we get more of a pink, which will turn into a deeper purple. Um, and then if I do green as well, Red, green, and blue will make white, which is extremely bright because there are three watt LEDs, which is, uh, you know, pretty powerful. And if we did all three sliders at the same time, we could actually do like a dimming effect. Um, also, you know, you got red and green, which will make you yellow. Uh, you can do straight green, straight blue. Uh, what else we got? Green and blue will make like a teal. Um, so that's essentially it. Eventually I'm going to 
the good thing about the XBs is you can take the, uh, they work in a mesh network. So I could just add another XB into the system and use it to send information to the one inside there. Uh, say I create a, like a dongle for the uh, computer and I can create a color choosing program and then select the color and it'll send out the proper value to the chandelier. Um, turn that off. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the extent of it. Um, hopefully I'll have another tutorial up uh, shortly and more progress done on this. Uh, for more information, visit EvolveElectronics.net. And uh, have a great day.